I'm telling you this works if you want your life to change and you want to have the prosperity that comes from the Holy Ghost and his word this is how you do the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraut. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this is not your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, I have a message tonight, and I'm going to be talking about words that, if you learn to use them, can change your life. Use these words to change your life. Well, what do you mean, use the words? I mean, speak the words, right? So there would be words given to you that if you speak them will change your life mm -hmm. some people would say well people don't change have you ever heard that before mm -hmm. or people can't change and in and by themselves maybe that's true but using these words will change you saying that somebody can't be changed is contrary to scripture because the Bible says we are changed from one glory to the next glory mm -hmm. we are changed say we, we are, are changed. changed listen you are being changed right now as you hear these words these words are changing you others don't take this far enough in my estimation otherwise they'd be having this revelation too it's not that other people don't preach faith but this this say this yes. every word of God has the ability in itself to bring itself to pass where in your life or in my life every word of God has the ability in it the faith in it the power in it the ability say ability, ability. to bring itself to pass it has the genetic code for whatever's in it to produce itself in your life if it's a prosperity scripture the blessing of the Lord makes rich he adds no sorrow with it that's a prosperity scripture in that scripture itself there's the genetic material so to speak to bring itself to pass in your life yeah. what do you change into it, that it mm -hmm. the word every word of God has the ability in itself to bring itself to pass but you must say it he doesn't make you say it you make you say it that's how we get in agreement with God God who God the Holy Ghost anyway this is knowledge that I have I own it I know this that every promise of God has the ability in itself to reproduce itself and bring itself to pass in my life or in your life if you will say it mm -hmm. are you here yes. so God's Word on prosperity has the genetic code in it to produce itself say to produce itself, to produce itself. God's Word on healing has the genetic material and code within itself to bring healing in your life it brings it using these words will change your life if you're sick using these words the way I'm gonna be talking about will change your life into somebody that's no longer sick if you don't have enough or you're in poverty or lack using these words in the way that I'm gonna talk about tonight will change your life into one who has no lack and has prosperity mm -hmm. if you learn to use these words they will change your life is this making sense yes. the genetic code for it is in the word itself whether it be prosperity are there prosperity scriptures yes. are there healing scriptures yes. are there youth renewal scriptures yes. the material to change you or to change your life is in those scriptures mark chapter 4 verse 26 and he said so is the kingdom of God 
as if a man cast seed into the ground and, and he should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knows not how for the earth brings forth fruit of herself first the blade then the ear then the full corn in the ear in the ground the ground here is the heart of man right what was the seed the, word, right? the seed would be the word he has other verses of scripture that say that so you chose a word the kingdom is like someone who sows a seed or a word of God into their heart mm -hmm. sleeps and rises night and day the seed grows up are you here mm -hmm. what grows up if you plant it the seed right. grows up into the thing that it was a seed of mm -hmm. if I sow a prosperity word of God into my heart what grows up a prosperity plant does that make sense mm -hmm. the genetic code for producing prosperity plants in your life is in the word itself can you see this yep. who's the one who chose to sow it so is a man who sowed seed mm -hmm. so you can see that the kingdom of God works this way and everybody all oh, the kingdom works like a seed yeah but you're not taking it far enough it's literally the Word of God that will produce itself in your life if you learn to say it it will change your life it'll change your situation say it'll change my situation, change my situation. if I learn how to speak it and use it if you use these words they will change your life all right well so how do we get it out of the word and into our situation into our circumstances into our life we can see I hope I've got you here so far that it's the Word of God the promises of God that are the impetus of change for you mm -hmm. well nobody can change everybody can change if they learn to do this mm -hmm. you aren't excluded this will change you doesn't matter who you are God's no respecter of persons mm -hmm. every person who will learn to put the Word of God in their mouth shall be changed into that word that they've put into their mouth it's a law of God it makes me happy mm -hmm. I don't know about you it changes me into it well so how do we go about this let's look at Joshua God's been doing this a long time say a long time, a long time. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law talking about the scriptures shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night say day and night, day and night. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success mm -hmm. sounds good right mm -hmm. good success read it again this book of the law we're talking about the scriptures shall not depart out of your mouth if it doesn't depart out of your mouth where is it it's in your mouth then he reinforces it by saying but thou shalt meditate therein day and night the word meditate literally means to mutter meaning you've got to say it right you're gonna be saying it say you're gonna be saying it and you're gonna be saying it and you're gonna be saying it day and night what is that what's that all about that seems like a time period doesn't it mm -hmm. well if it's the daytime what are you doing saying it, saying it. what if it's the nighttime what are you doing saying. saying it can you see what's going on here God just wants you to say it you gotta say it if you say it and you continue to say it look what he says here for then say then Amen. then thou shalt make thy way prosperous then thou shalt have something you're not gonna have the thing until you've said it but on the opposite side of that I can have the thing if I continue to say it are you getting this why because the power to reproduce itself is in the word itself and if I have that word itself in my mouth 
and i continue to say it i shall have good success then thou shalt have if you mutter and you say and you mutter and you say you shall have mm -hmm. well, i don't like it this way well then you don't like it god's way mm -hmm. i'm telling you this is something i have i know this works i've worked it before and i work it now and i'm working it on several things right now yes. and it works so the power is in the word itself and you extract that power by saying it you shall have james chapter 1 verse 21 and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able what is able the word is able we're our job is to receive with meekness the engrafted word you know what engrafting means right if you were to engraft some kind of a limb onto a tree it would then begin to produce fruit that was part of that limb not necessarily just part of the tree which would be you mm -hmm. you're engrafting that word say i'm engrafting, I'm engrafting that, word. that word say i'm engrafting, I'm engrafting prosperity, prosperity. Scriptures. scriptures what's that prosperity scripture that you've engrafted going to do produce prosperity for you are you here yes. is it all about you it's pretty much none about you it's all about the thing that you engrafted mm -hmm. which produces it yeah. receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able here this verse of scripture says that it is able to save that word save is the word greek word so sozo it's the all-inclusive word that means to heal to deliver to prosper to whatever you need the word is able the word's not able by itself the word is able to do it if you engraft it mm -hmm. but then it does it mm -hmm. we're talking about using these words to change your life proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord it maketh rich and he adds no sorrow with it well what's a blessing you know don't don't get spiritual on me a blessing is actually saying something over someone mm -hmm. if you bless someone well bless you somebody sneezes you're saying something mm -hmm. right? right so the blessing or the saying something of the lord or of the word it maketh what maketh the blessing the saying something maketh say the saying something, saying something. Maketh. maketh what's it maketh well here it says it maketh rich if i begin saying something it makes me something mm -hmm. say it makes me something it makes me something something you weren't before because now you're saying something that you weren't before and you're saying the thing that maketh you can take any verse of scripture or any promise of god first peter 2 24 says by jesus stripes i was healed if i begin to say that it begins to do that it maketh me healed mm -hmm. what maketh me healed those words and the power in those words changes me from being sick to being healed which is what those verses say are you getting this yes. using words to change your life use these words these Bible words will change your life because there's power in them that will produce itself if you learn how to say them but it works on all the promises of God if you use these words these words will change your life i don't want to do it then you don't want to be changed mm -hmm. god has a method it's not difficult is it difficult no. no it's not difficult you just have to put in the time i don't want to put in the time that's why he said to joshua day and night mm -hmm. 
it requires a certain amount of effort but is it worth it to be changed yes. I think so you have to do the saying part God is not going to force you to say anything in fact you get to choose you this day the scriptures you want to say you know people get mad at me over that that I can choose to say prosperity scriptures and have them come to pass in my life some people are getting this I can choose to speak prosperity scriptures and have them come to pass in my life I can choose to speak prosperity scriptures and have them come to pass in my life see because I can choose to speak them I speak them I speak them I speak them and what do they do they come to pass in my life I can choose to speak healing scriptures what comes to pass in my life healing and health what if I choose youth renewal scriptures what happens to me my youth is renewed because I'm so special no because the word itself produces itself if I learn how to say them and use those words they change my life mm -hmm. are you getting this mm -hmm. is that worth it mm -hmm. yes. what is the worth of a scripture in your mouth it's worth the value of what it said how about this one I love this one Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich he adds no sorrow with it what's the value of Proverbs 10 22 you being blessed of the Lord mm -hmm. made rich mm -hmm. and no sorrow added what's the value of that that it goes as far as the scripture will go mm -hmm. and we have not taken it as far as we should have mm -hmm. are you here you have to do the saying part use these words use them now well, you're just trying to use God you think God feels like he's being used I don't think so I mean this is his method it's the way he does things how about Philippians 4 19 my God shall supply well what if I don't have a supply God will change me if I learn to use that verse of Scripture into someone whose God supplies all of his needs mm -hmm. I went from someone who didn't have a supply and God didn't supply any of his needs to someone who God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus mm -hmm. because I learned to use those words are you getting this yes. you've changed from no supply to having all supplied is that a change yes. is that a good change yes. this is God's method you can change your life from poverty to wealth say wealth, wealth. well I don't like to say wealth you need you're gonna need to learn how to say wealth mm -hmm. say it according to the scriptures mm -hmm. I'm not the one making it up he's the one that said these scriptures mm -hmm. You can change from poverty to wealth you can change from someone who's a failure to someone who's a success all the time head and not the tail above only not beneath you can change from sickness and us being a sick person to being what healed and a healthy person and living in divine health where sickness and disease wouldn't even dare come on you See, as you come around it goes ah the opposite direction yeah. say divine health, divine health. say sickness and, disease sickness and disease can't come on me, come on me. By, Jesus stripes, by Jesus stripes I was healed, I was healed. I'm telling if you can get a hold of this I plead with people many times even in emails I plead with them start doing this even if you didn't believe it at first that's not the point the point is the, the word will produce belief in you if you continue to say it faith comes by hearing faith comes by the, and in the word itself to you but there comes a place where you're in the word and the word is working for you where you've changed and the surroundings around you have changed where sickness can't come on you poverty can't get near you doubt and unbelief is a thing of the past and you live in a different realm you live in a different world 
you have changed say I have changed. I have changed and this is how you get there are you happy with this yes. these words well we know that right these words come from the Holy Ghost Amen. Yes. in 2nd Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 all scripture hold your Bible go like this all scripture right all scripture is given by inspiration of God the word inspiration there means God breathed he said them you understand yes. and is profitable is profitable what do you suppose the prophet in that scripture is exactly what the scripture says Amen. right the prophet in a healing verse of scripture is healing he breathed it out so that you could have the prophet that's in the scripture mm -hmm. which would be healing or whatever the verse says are you here it's in the verse itself mm -hmm. but you got to say it mm -hmm. just like he said it he breathed it out second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation meaning it'll work for anyone mm -hmm. for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so these words are words of the Holy Ghost and from the Holy Ghost he breathed them out say he breathed them out, he breathed them out. if you're gonna walk with him what are you gonna do breathe them out that's how we walk with God so they spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so these words came from him and they have his life in them does that make sense to you these words these promises that are yes and amen came from him and they have his life in them his ability in them whatever that verse said say his prosperity, his prosperity. is that enough well, I would think so mm -hmm. his healing is that enough yes. his youth renewal is that enough mm -hmm. yeah if you learn to use these words they will change your life if you don't use them say use them, use them. what are they gonna do nothing mm -hmm. they collect dust right, right. Yep. but if you use these words they will change your life at every word of god has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass i hope i've walked you through that mm -hmm. and it came from the holy ghost but i was also given something else from heaven words from heaven say words from heaven, words from heaven. an angel spoke them into my ear he said use the words i worship you holy ghost say use, use. the words the word. I worship, you, I worship you Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Now when we talk about using words, what are we what are we talking about? Exactly. Speaking them. And when you learn to speak those words, they'll do something for you also. Are you here? Exactly. Just like the other words that we have as scriptures, we're saying them and they do something for us. Mm -hmm. These words also do something for you. I worship you Holy Ghost use the words I worship you Holy Ghost we're talking about being changed using words to be changed and as I was meditating on this the Spirit of God said to me I could have given these words to someone else but I didn't I could have given these words to someone else but I didn't I sent my angel to you to speak them in your ear be faithful to use them and I will open up a path for you to walk that no one else has walked before I don't know if you can hear that or not and then he said to me because I was questioning about it I said you know he said I've given you these words to you I could have given it to someone else because you think okay well why didn't you give them to so-and-so why didn't you give them to so-and-so with the big ministry over there and this ministry over there mm -hmm. you know what he says mm -hmm. they wouldn't do it mm -hmm. they wouldn't do it 
but this is not just for me i'm just a messenger this is for you are you willing to go here they wouldn't do it are you willing to go here where here where here do you say i worship you holy ghost they wouldn't do it if you begin to use those words things begin to happen things begin to change you begin to change things begin to change for you in you on you and around you you enter into a new place I hope you're hearing this they were not willing to go here are you willing to go here second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away you understand what a veil is right mm -hmm. a veil blocks you from seeing something mm -hmm. say blocks you, blocks you. from seeing something, seeing something right nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is veil taken away now the Lord is that spirit that's not what everybody was expecting they were expecting to see Jesus there but it's not Jesus Jesus is not here Jesus is still in heaven at the right hand of the Father the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and when the veil is taken away now the Lord is the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. that spirit yes. let's read on here lest people get too mad at me and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty which the opposite would also be true if the Spirit isn't Lord there mm -hmm. say there, there then there is not this Liberty that he speaks of well when that angel said to me use these words I worship you Holy Ghost those words remove the veil so you can see the Spirit of the Lord and you begin to be changed in a way that others can't be changed and experience liberties that others can't experience and they know nothing about it nothing they think they do or they don't use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost takes you to the other side of the veil you have to use the right words can you see this now yes. using the right words changes you you have to use the right words to go behind the veil mm -hmm. and if you knew him as God the Holy Ghost you would worship him as God use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost takes you to the other side of the veil things you couldn't see before and you're changed by seeing them beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed beholding are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Lord who is that spirit who are we walking with the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today once you have this revelation once you've gone behind the veil and have seen this you can't go back where are you gonna go back into deception thinking something different you can't go back it's in here in this room oh please here in this room it's in this room that we are changed how do we get in the room by worshiping the Holy Ghost we use those words say I use those words I, use those words. I worship you, I worship you. Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost and I, and I am changed by the Spirit of the Lord we are changed by the Spirit being Lord we are changed the more the more you know the Spirit as Lord the more you are changed the more you know the Spirit Lord the more you are changed the more you see of him the more you know him the more you love him the more you are changed the more you worship him use these words I worship you Holy Ghost if you learn to use these words you will be changed can you see this no. but I'm already in here I can't go back exactly. not going back don't want to go back mm -hmm. if you learn to use these words they will change your life 
but using these words number one part one the scriptures finding scriptures that pertain to your situation say finding, finding. Scriptures, scriptures that pertain, that pertain to, my to my situation if you need healing you find a healing verse you don't need a bunch of them there's enough power in one healing verse to heal you of whatever you need your youth renewed youth renewal verses right mm -hmm. what if you need some prosperity or increase find some prosperity verses or at least one use the words and if I'm using them what am I gonna be doing I'm gonna be speaking them I'm going to be saying them I'm gonna be saying them I'm also gonna be saying them Amen. and when I'm saying them I will be saying them mm -hmm. I shall also say them what am I also gonna do say. I'm gonna say them but I will hear them but I'm saying them yeah. and I'm gonna say them. well I get tired of saying them then you're tired of having that thing manifest in its in your life mm -hmm. that was borderline annoying I know but it was it was I you know sometimes you don't want to do it and that was the point of that sometimes you don't want to do it I'm tired of saying it so you know what I'm gonna do when I'm tired of saying it I'm gonna say it because I know that in that word out my mouth brings itself to pass in my life and once you know I'm telling you once you know that there's no stopping you and then part two was using the words I worship you Holy Ghost which takes you behind the veil into a relationship with the true and living God and what can't he do so I'll go something like this just to help you out here using the words if you use these words it'll change your life it goes something like this if I were to pick let's say I selected Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it and then I say the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no don't mock me I'm telling you this works if you want your life to change and you want to have the prosperity that comes from the Holy Ghost and his word this is how you do the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it I worship you Holy Ghost the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it you might even try doing the dishes while you're saying the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no what, what am I gonna have if I continue this the blessing of the Lord making me rich and adding no sorrow with it and as I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm changed from glory to his glory to this is one of his glories you understand Proverbs 10 22 he spoke it he breathed it so you can do that you're gonna repeat it and do it and you can do it and repeat it and do it and do it do it for you know you can do it for timed periods 10 minutes 20 minutes half an hour mm -hmm. you getting this yes. every day every day every day every day every day well, I don't want this answer I'm giving you the answer if you don't want the answer then you can go look somewhere else mm -hmm. this is how God does things anyway doing these things speaking God's Word learning how to use these words will literally change your life and change every part of your life and if I could just get people to do it they too could be changed Amen. let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are being changed for many of them have heard said the Spirit of the Lord and many of them are now seeing the new way in their new life they're beginning to see themselves as in a mirror through the Word of God and they're liking what they see because it is a reflection of me says the Spirit of the Lord 
great wealth great prosperity great healing health and youth renewal awaits you as you use your tongue and your mouth and your words I shall lift you up and transform you into a completely new person and a new place and we shall be there together says the Spirit of the Lord I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost say this after me I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost, I worship you, Holy Ghost. I worship you, Holy Ghost. thank you Holy Ghost thank you. For transforming me into your word in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are transforming me into a wealthy person who has more than more than enough all the time for every good work in Jesus name amen God